here is another example y equals to 3x squared plus 4 all right so we rename this as your fx fx equals to 3x squared plus 4 get your f prime uh, fx plus h uh, get your fx plus h which is a uh, this x will be substituted as a x plus h then you have your 3 x plus h square plus 4 okay so to get your f prime x by using first principle you have this formula f x plus h minus f x divided by h so here i will substitute f x plus h and the f x inside my formula here you have 3 x plus h square plus 4 minus fx which is 3x squared plus 4 don't forget to put a for, uh, put a bracket for it and over h and then trying to simplify the above function so you have your 3 x squared plus 2hx plus uh, h squared plus 4 minus 3x squared minus 4 over h then here we can see that this is uh, okay this is a bracket so here i will multiply the 3 inside i got my 3x squared plus 6hx plus 3h squared okay uh yes plus 4 minus 3x squared minus 4 okay so there's no more bracket over here over h so now i'm going to simplify the top function which is a uh, 3x squared 3x squared we can cancel off 3x squared minus 3x squared and the positive 4 and negative 4 cancel off so now we only left a 6hx plus 3h squared for this two term both containing the h so you might uh, factor out the h okay you might factor out the h you have your limit h approaches to zero factor out the h or, or you want to factor out the 3 or just uh, ignore the 3 also can all right so just factor out the h 6x you have your 6x plus 3h you just leave it in the bracket over h okay so after that you can uh, cancel off the h which will make your uh, substitution undefined yeah? so we, we already got one h on top it can be cancelled off with this h below so that it won't be any uh, uh, any obstacle for you now to use the substitution substitute the h equals to zero inside you have your 3 multiplied by 0 that will be equal to 0 and now 6x plus 0 equals to 6x so now you already start to use the substitution method there is no more limit in front okay so your final answer is 6x again we can check our answer by using the technique of a differentiation if you differentiate this by using technique of differentiation you will get your 6x which is uh, what you got is correct yeah okay so now we move to another example h Okay, again, uh, same method. We're going to uh, find the fx. Okay, uh, rename this as fx. And your fx plus h will be equivalent to 2 x plus h square plus 1. If you would like to expand it first, also uh, can. You can expand it first x square plus 2hx plus h square plus 1 okay so this is your 2x square plus 4hx plus 2h square plus 2 okay so now i'm going to find the f prime x so after so many uh, example i think you can remember the formula which is fx plus h minus fx over h so put in your fx plus h 2x squared plus 4hx plus 2hx, uh, 2h squared, sorry, plus 2 minus fx. Your fx is a uh, 2x squared plus 1. So the whole thing over h. 
So we can see that the Fx can be expand to x square plus 4hx, 2h square. I copy this down and expand this. Okay, expand this, you get the negative 2x square and a minus uh, 2 over h. So let's see what can be cancelled off. 2x square minus 2x square, done. Positive 2 minus 2, done. So you left a 4hx plus a 2h square. So for these two terms, both containing the h, you will see that you can factor out the h actually. Factor out the h, then you have your 4x plus a 2h over h. So here I'm going to cancel off the h. So what I have is 4x plus 2h now. Then I can use substitution method now because this h has already been eliminated. So I can use my substitution method. Substitute the h goes to 0 inside. I got my 2 multiplied by 0 which is 0. So 4x plus 0 equals to 4x. Your final answer is equals to 4x. Okay, so you might use a technique of uh, differentiation to check if the fx is given as a 2 x squared plus 1. How do you get your f prime x by using the technique of uh, differentiation? The 2 will be stay outside and uh, differentiate this. You get 2x. Alright, so you get 4x. You, uh, you use a, if you use the technique of inter, uh, differentiation, you get the same uh, as what you use uh, uh, first principle. So here is a final example, 5 over 2x. 5 over 2x, I rename this as fx, 5 over 2x. And my f fx plus h will be equivalent to 5 over 2x plus h. So again, to get your f prime x, I will stick to the first principle, limit, h approaches to 0, fx plus h, 5 over 2x plus h, minus fx, 5 over 2x, over h. This is the formula for the first principle. So what I can do is, always equating denominator on top. So now, I will decide the denominator to be what? To be 2, x, x plus h. I'm going to multiply this two. Okay, x multiplied by x plus h, you get this. And then both of them containing two, so I just uh, leave it as two. Then uh, here, to make this denominator to be the same as this, I need to multiply on uh, the top one by x. So I got 5x. Alright, I got 5x. To make the 2x into this form, I need to multiply the top by x plus h. I got my 5x plus h. Again, the h can join here. Okay, as I explained just now, if you have a, a over b divided by c, you can uh, actually write them in the form of a over b c. So if I have a over b divided by c, I can join the b and the c together. So this one is what will be the b c. Okay, so after you have a uh, uh, write in this form. You can actually um, simplify the top function that is your numerator. 5x minus 5x, you get 0. And negative 5 multiplied by h, you get negative 5h. Over 2x multiplied by x plus h multiplied by h. Okay, so here you can see that the h can be cancelled off. Then you have your negative 5 over 2x, x plus h. You can Now you can direct uh, use direct substitution method to uh, evaluate the answer for the limit. So when h equals to 0, substitute h equals to 0 in, inside here. You get x plus 0, which is equivalent to x. And now you have a negative 5 over 2x squared. Because the x multiplied by x, you get x squared as a h equals to 0. So the final answer you get is a negative 5 over 2x squared. So now check with the answer with your technique of integration. If given the fx is a 5 over 2x, you actually can write this in the form of 5 over 2, x power of negative 1. Okay, so to get your f prime x, you apply the power rule. The 5 over 2 
still will be remain outside and negative 1 you move to the front and multiply by x quad, uh, power of negative 2 all right so power negative 1 minus 2 you get negative 2 simplify it you get negative 5 over 2 x squared okay so this is the answer now this is the example uh, which is a multiplication of a two linear linear factor so for this question actually this is a quadratic function we can actually expand it first rewrite the y again as fx and then i'm going to expand this that is your x squared minus 3x plus 2x you get negative x minus 6. so now get your fx plus h fx plus h which uh, all the x will be substituted as your x plus h so here you will get x plus h square minus x plus h minus 6. if you want to expand it first okay you are you can do so all right it's easy for you later on to cancel off eh, the numerator so you can span, expand it first x square plus 2hx plus h square minus x minus h all right minus 6. so now i will proceed to f prime x by using the first principle which the limit for the h is approaches to zero and the function fx plus h i will copy it down here 2hx plus h square minus x minus h minus 6. all right this is your fx plus h minus fx follow the formula we call back the formula this is your fx and divided by h so here now i will try to uh, settle the sign because now when you multiply the negative inside the sign will be changing copy this all down and then negative multiply by x square you get negative x square plus x plus 6 okay over h so see which term can be cancelled off x squared x minus x squared cancel off each other negative 6 plus 6 cancel off and a negative x plus x cancel off each other so what you left is 2hx plus h squared minus h so here i'm going to find a h which uh, on top so that it can be cancelled off with the h below we can see that the three terms, uh, all the, uh, all these three terms containing the h. So I can factor out h. I have my two x for the first term in the bracket, and uh, once the h square factor out one h, you left only one h, and uh, minus uh, one. Negative h factor out the h, you get negative one over h. So now we got one h on top here can be cancelled off with the h below. So here you have two x plus h minus one. Once this h has been eliminated, you can actually use direct substitution method to find your limit, which is substitute the h equals to 0 inside. You get 2x minus 1. Okay, you get 2x minus 1. So your answer is 2x minus 1. Okay, you can check by using the technique of uh, differentiation again to get or to check whether you got the correct answer. 2x minus 1, I think is correct okay so thank you for watching this video hope that this video will help you to uh, to find the derivative uh, uh, using first derivative uh, to find a derivative using first principle thank you